All right, tap tap here. Back with the Omawari. And we're gonna head to that spooky tunnel that... Actually, I wonder, can I travel to that Jesus statue that was in the factory now? Yeah, I guess you can warp around. I guess maybe that area isn't unrevisible. What's this? I wonder if that thing is gone now. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go exactly, but maybe it's gone. Oh, that was just the gate. Well, maybe there's something different in here now. I just want to explore a little bit. I think we'll just be here in the end. Oh no, I don't want another trash can. Oh, phew. That first one licked me and it, it, it scarred me for life. Not, not all the spirits are nice. Like, there must be a pervy old man spirit in the trash can. Which is exactly where pervy old man spirits belong. But also, trash cans are important, and I don't want nasty perv spirits in them. So it's still inconvenient. Were we up here before? This feels familiar. I guess we weren't. Let's take a look at those collectible things that we got. Do not. Oh, I got that already. Um, I kind of wish it highlighted what was new. The earth lock. I found this, but I don't know the code to open it. It's probably been locked a long time. Toy bone. No, we saw that one already. We have almost all of the puzzle things. Looks like there's 20 pieces. We're only missing five. Shabby. I'll probably try and put together a guide. I might be biting off more than I should be chewing, but uh, I like to make guides and I like I get pretty good traffic on my site. I do wish more people that enjoyed my guides would uh, contribute to my Patreon, which, you know, helps me spend more time to write more guides and stuff, but... Uh, but... Uh, for later. Are we just actually in... Okay, I think the invisible barriers are just gone now, so I think th yeah, I think we've pretty much seen what there is to see in the factory now. The, uh... Yeah. Though... I guess as long as they remove the invisible walls, like when they're no longer needed, you know, for game design perspective, maybe this is better for an open world sort of thing. I guess this is probably better than, you know, permanent holes in the road, because the holes in the road are great for, you know, yeah, you're never going to be able to get past you, but it seems that wasn't exactly the intent here. Yeah, they just need to kind of gate you in there for gameplay reasons. I really do enjoy how this game balances the uh, open world and uh, linear aspect. Okay, I'm not really sure I need to go down that way. Actually, you know what? I will. Despite... Okay. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Never mind. I thought maybe there was more stuff. Wasn't there a big old spider? No, I crossed a big old spider to get here. There's a big old spider somewhere else. Wasn't it down here? I think there was a big old spider down here, maybe. Let's see if we can go farther left. Or No, I think this is the bottom corner, actually. I forget where I saw the big old spider. Oh, it's these guys again. It's actually... It's kind of comforting to see that thing again. Uh, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, I know where to go. Calm, calm yourself, if you're not calm. Um, yeah. What is that X? I really want to see the whole map. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Screw off hands. So the hands are the abductors or something? The hands seem to be... 
the worst spirits, because, like, they even ticked off the centipede. Also, I do think it could be clearer with the notice things. Like, I guess you can see, I guess there is an animation of her dashing under it, but, like, you don't see her cowering at all like you do with the, the bushes. So it's kind of hard to tell that that is, in fact, the intent. We haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, there's the post box. Secret letter is placed in the post box. So, pond. We never looked at the pond. I want to see the pond. I kind of like if in an open world game, some areas are just kind of there to explore, get some, you know, I don't mind some collectibles. Oh. Okay. Never mind. The atmosphere in this game is really fantastic. Um, it's not really music per se, but just the ambience in general. It's labeled music. It's really just kind of the atmospheric sound stuff that's going on, but it works so perfectly. Like, sometimes horror games can benefit a lot from music. Like, uh, Silent Hill does it very well. That's where I first saw Sis. Alright, all the way around. Wonder if this is it. If it's not, I may not be able to finish this tonight. Ah, oh, I can't. This must have been before I knew the Jizo statues transported you. Or maybe you couldn't use them in the very beginning when I first saw a couple of those. I don't know. I'm glad I know that now, but I think there's a couple that I saw and didn't activate. That seems bad. I'll take it though. Let's just stay away from that edge. Alright. Tunnel dead ahead. This is that area that was filled with fog and we couldn't. Those are harmless. That we couldn't get to uh, way before. Do not enter. No fog this time, I'm guessing. Shrine. Huh? This charm is glowing. Maybe I should lift it up. Oh, so that's how we get rid of the fog. Oh. I thought we killed you. I thought we killed that freaking piece of garbage. Please spook it away. Oh. He hit the shrine. Oh. Hi. Eat it! Yes! Thank you! Wait. Did it just become whole again? Oh. I love Pokemon. <laughs> that kind of reminded me of the, um, the part in Doom 2 where you can trick a Cyber Demon and a uh, Spider Mastermind to fight each other. Cyber Demon always wins, though. Which is kind of funny, because, like, the Cyber Demon is the final boss, but really, this, the only thing the Cyber Demon really has going for it is there's a bunch of other enemies in there with it, and, um, and, uh, wait, where is this thing? I guess it's way up there, and I just can't see it, because you can't transport to the same location, but, uh, yeah, the spider ant mastermind, the main thing is that it, it hit scans, which means, you know, it in instantly hits you instead of having a projectile. So you can dodge the uh, cyber demon. The cyber demon has a lot more health and hits a lot harder. And the cyber mastermind can't dodge, unlike the player. Chukunoko found. Wild spirit. It's a Chukunoko.
A funny little thing with a wide body. It's cute, so I think it'll keep it as a pet. Chukinoko. I have to look this up. I think I've heard that before. Chukinoko? A Chukinoko is a snake-like cryptid from Japan, and is apparently in Metal Gear Solid 3? So it's like this weird stubby snake. Huh. I would not recommend keeping it as a snake. But she drew it very adorably, so I'll allow it. So we're exploring out of the fringes, hoping for items, which I already got. Pretty good hidden one. Where? Oh, this part doesn't show up on the map at all. Jesus statue, Jesus statue, Jesus statue, please. Yes. Interesting. You can warp out of here, but not in, I suppose. Seems fitting for a final area. What's this? No, get the item! Well, that's dramatic. This is just past here. What is chasing me? Uh, they probably wouldn't hide too many items in here, right? It's just me being a completionist. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to complete everything and on my website, sirtapdap.com, I'll probably try and have I'll find all the items, you know, mark them on the map and stuff. But for now, we gotta go find Sis. Shrine! Oof. Okay, get wrecked. Is that a match? Matches lighting the light. Hey. Hey. What's that? I gotta keep my stamina high. No. Japan does have some really cool mythology stuff. I'm not so into the cryptid stuff, but the... I'm not usually into ghost stuff, at least not western ghost stuff, but they have some really cool, like, vengeful spirits and stuff. And Japanese... I need to activate that shrine, bro! No, screw off. Screw off. Shrine. Holy crap. Which way do I go? Up oh, seems the most dramatic, so it's probably correct. Oh gosh. No. 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 Where is a shrine? I need a shrine. No! Oh, please don't put me at the big gate. Oh, that was a long way to go. Okay, it, it goes easier on, like, it's like, yeah, you've gotten this far already, I won't, I won't be a jerk. I, I like when games do this. You know, don't make me repeat the parts that I didn't have a problem on, so I can get back to the part that I died on. Just make me do the part that I died on again, you know? This is the Jizo statue right here. That's so where I can translate out, oh, but not in. It's weird that she doesn't. Like, it doesn't really complete the view of that spooky tunnel. I can only barely see it. I was expecting to sort of fill up the. Fuck! 
Come on. Yes, get out of here. Another you? Come at me, bro. Yes. All right. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Ah, Tin and I, this not now. Oh no. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, 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 no. Yeah. Jesus statue? Anyone? I can go for a little. A little statue. A little quick save. Ah. No, screw you. I'm not activating this. Eat that magic. What do you say now? Look at all this mystical fire. You can you gonna you gonna deal with this? I don't think you can front on this, Mr. Hand. You may have taken Link back to the beginning of the dungeon, but I'm gonna take my freaking sis back. You can't stop me. Sis! Yeah, whatever. Like I care. Oh. Great. Guy met at a dead people. With spikes. My favorite. Okay. Oh, you can hide. Come here. Why don't you just walk right over here? I think this would be a good place for you to walk, Mr. Demon Friend. You like this? Yeah. It's not dangerous. Yeah. I was... I guess you just have to activate all of them. I was kind of expecting that to do absolutely anything. Um, should I, apparently did not. No. No. Uh, run. I wish that would at least push them back a teeny frickin' bit. I mean, come on. Really? Really? Ah. Oh, come on. Hey. What are you doing? Also, compared to the most first-person um, instant die-em-ups that are like, you know, hide-and-go-seek simulators, as I like to call them, you know, like Outlast and stuff, the uh, the improved range of vision really helps with this and helps things damn it, feel a little less unfair. Not in its hitbox. I don't really know why he's not active, but um, I'm not really gonna complain too much about that. So how many are there? I guess six hexagon. Super hexagon. Hexagon. Okay. Oh, 
Those things have a really big hitbox. Like, I know they're really big, but like, I don't know. I don't know if I really... I don't really think I collided with the visible sprite of that, did I? I think their aggro timer grows a little longer, or maybe they just start in random positions. And you don't necessarily have both of them on your hide at the same, like, at the start because of that. You fell into my trap card. Or, oh, I screwed that up. Oh, come on, man! Come on! Oh, I meant to hide! Yep, started with both of them chasing me. This'll be fun. Oh, come on, come on! Stop! Stop! Fuck! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! It didn't even activate. It would be kind of nice and, like, it would show that it's working if it kind of just reflected him just a teeny bit when he activated one. Okay, so the big guy does not run away if you hide, but the hands do. And the big guy is not really the hardest part. He's just a complication. The hands are the bulk of the difficulty? Oh, come on! Uh, I think I've gotten five, like, three or four times now. Really close. Oh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! I'm gonna need you to fuck off. I think the hands just teleport away when you do that. But the head is still, like, right outside. Which is a huge problem, really. You just gotta not linger. I see it, I see it. Not sure why that didn't aggro. Whew! Okay. I knew it. I knew it was too easy going. I knew one of them had to be camping. You camping, bro? Gotcha. You like that light? You like that light, Jenkins? Get out of here. Get out of here, shopkeeper from frickin' Binding of Isaac. Sis? After all that, she's gotta be okay, right? Sis? 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 Don't die, sis. Sis? Hmm? Sis? Are you okay? You can't do this to me, game. I came to look for you. Let's go home. Sis? Game. Game, come on. I was so scared. I was so lonely, sis. Let's go home together, please. Sis? Sis? Fuck you. Sis? Huh? Uh, what is this? I feel weird.
turn the light on. It's dark. I can't see anything. post credit scene, right? What happened to my eyes? This is... Yomori night alone. Night is coming to town. It will come even if Sis isn't here, or Poro, or even if I'm not here. The night will come and the morning will follow. Then the night again. Sis! Your left eye. Does it hurt? I'm sorry. You did that for me. Thanks for helping me. It's fine, Sis. Get a little snake buddy. It's one of those. This must be popular in Japan. It's one of those um, the bug holy things from um, from Animal Crossing. What's this? Worn out crayons found. 
I kept expecting us to use the shovel as a, as a, a key, but no, it never ended up coming up. Oops. Oh, and you can view the diary of all the past things. That's neat. But I want to see is use it to hide the hole where my eye was. I can't see anymore, but I saved this. She's she's got another eye. It's a lot better than nothing. Um, where are the crowns? The used set of crayons got really small. Some are broken and worn out. Well, that was Yomawari. There was... The pond was blocked off. I'll... I'll record... And maybe there's still some stuff left to see that isn't, you know, just collectibles. I'll record just in case, but this might be the end. Let's see if we got mailed back. Unhappy letter. Yeah, I think that's just like a chain mail letter thing that just keeps happening. Yeah, in case I don't see you again, this is this was Yomawari, and that was that was really fantastic. <laughs> I I was expecting to like it, but um Firefly Diary was a really you know, it's a flawed gem. Um, I really love the art style and what I was trying to do, but it didn't quite work out. And I honestly expected this might have a little bit of that jank to it. Uh, it, it really doesn't at all. Um, there's a couple of moments where I got frustrated. I think every horror game that has, you know, difficulty of any kind is going to have a couple of moments like that. But that was, that was really great start to finish. Like, that was an amazing... Both the the ending and the very beginning were really impactful, and the bit in the woods. That's right, Parker. Hi. Yes, you're kind of scary at night when you just randomly claw me. I'm playing totally in the dark, and suddenly claws on my arm. But hey, that's that's just Bark Parker. Calm yourself. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if there's more to see. If not, um. You can look forward to the guide at least, but yeah, there's, there's definitely some stuff that I didn't get to entirely see, but I'll see if any of it's worth uh, sharing. That's right, Parky.